everything we know about the opulent lifestyle in the Sultan of Brunei, who provoked controversy after passing a law penalizing homosexuality with death includes 500 Rolls Royces, $20,000 haircuts, and a 1,788-room palace. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel and the bell icon is turned on so you don't miss any of our new videos. Widespread criticism was directed at Brunei Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah for imposing the death penalty as a penalty for homosexuality. The criticism became so fervent. On Sunday, Bolkiah changed his mind, saying the law would never be put into effect, but it is still a legal requirement. Nevertheless, he was once a carefree young man who, despite leading the Muslim community in a little country in Southeast Asia, was if the Sultan spent billions in boats, vehicles, statues, casinos, and nearly anything else money could buy, encouraged by his wasteful brother, Prince Jeffrey. As part of an attempt to bring the nation into compliance with Sharia law, a stringent interpretation of Islam, the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkiah, received harsh criticism in April of last year for enacting new legislation that would have punished homosexuality with death by stoning. But the law will remain on the books in Brunei, the Sultan said. The 72-year-old Sultan was formerly renowned for his opulent, liberal, and Western lifestyle before becoming a supporter of the most conservative strain of Islam. His escapades reportedly included racing Ferraris at midnight through Brunei's capital, commissioning a castle with 1,788 rooms, and paying $20,000 to get his hair trimmed. He was once the richest man on the globe, with an estimated net worth of $40 billion. Here's a glimpse into the lavish, opulent life of the Sultan of Brunei. Bolkia, the son of Sultan Omar Ali Saifudian III, was born on July 15, 1946. Sultan Omar Ali Saifudian had 10 children, but he decided early on that Bolkia would replace him. Bolkia wed his cousin, Pinigiran Anak Saleha, in an arranged union in 1965. Bolkia is the 29th Sultan to originate from the same dynasty, which was well known for intermarriage. Bulkia traveled to England in 1967 to enroll in training at the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, United Kingdom. While he was there, his father abdicated, making him the new Sultan. Sultan Omar Ali Saifudian III resigned in opposition to the spread of communism in response to British demands that Brunei become more democratic. In August 1968, upon his return, Bulkia was crowned. Bulkia did not let his marriage prevent him from having fun, even though he was now the ruler of the country and a married man. Due to how he used his $1 billion inheritance, he quickly gained global fame. Bulkia spent lavishly in London's casinos, purchasing expensive vehicles, boats, and hotels with his brother Prince Jeffrey. It was said that Jeffrey had a detrimental impact on the newly chosen Sultan and was infamous for being bad with money. Bulkia built his own personal zoo, which is home to 30 Bengal tigers. When visiting international leaders or in Brunei, the Sultan treats them to zoo performances. The Sultan's zookeeper told the Bangkok Post that the zoo had falcons, flamingos, and cockatoos that could sing, talk, play basketball, ride bicycles, and impersonate other animals. Additionally, he hired Jack Nicklaus, the most accomplished golfer in history, to create a golf course for him at one of his hotels. Bulkia had to contend with Prince Jeffrey's insatiable hunger for luxury as he grew older and took his position as head of state more seriously. Jeffrey, who served as finance minister for the majority of the 1980s and 1990s, used the money from the Crown Estate to maintain an even more extravagant lifestyle than his brother. In 1997, the Sultan fired him from his position as minister after accusing him of embezzling as much as $16 billion. The Sultan also took possession of Jeffrey's 150-foot yacht, Tits, Nipple 1 and Nipple 2 for the names of the two small boats that were used to transport people there and back. An 8-foot bronze Trojan horse, many gold-plated jacuzzis, several flamingo statues, and Comanche helicopter simulator, a jet and an F1 race car were among the items up for auction, according to CNN. Bulkia wed Miriam, an unroyal flight attendant, once more in 1981. Up until 2003, the couple were wed. When Brunei officially separated from the UK in 1984, Bulkia wanted to commemorate the event in a unique way. He built the Istana Nurul Iman a $600 million mansion to commemorate the occasion. There was also an 800-car garage there. Leandro Luxin, the palace's architect, created the 1,778-room structure, which is thought to be 2.2 million square feet or 50 acres in size. Guinness World Records designated the palace as the biggest residential palace in the world. The Sultan frequently became embroiled in debates about his brother's extravagant way of life. In the 1980s and 1990s, Prince Jeffrey allegedly managed a harem of 40 young women. In the book, Some Girls, My Life in a Harem, 
American lady Jillian Lauren claimed that when she was 18 and residing in New York, Prince Jeffrey invited her to join his harem. She said that the Sultan, a married man, had relationships with harem members. I am a night witness to the fact that the Sultan was partying, was committing adultery, and was not exactly living on the straight and narrow, Lauren said to CNN in 2014. The Bruneian administration rejected Lauren's assertions and fiercely denied them in a statement to CNN. Shannon Marketic, a former Miss USA, made an attempt to sue Bulkia and Prince Jeffrey in 1998. Marketic claimed she was made to endure a month in the harem under inhumane circumstances. Both brothers refuted the claims, with Bulkia saying he had never even met Marketic, according to CNN. The courts gave the brothers immunity from legal proceedings, owing to their joint standing as foreign head of state, CNN reported. As a result, the lawsuit was dismissed. The Sultan is perhaps most known for his passion for expensive cars. Together with Prince Jeffrey, Bulkia owns 500 Rolls Royces and a collection of more than 5,000 automobiles. The two allegedly raced Ferrari supercars in the middle of the night through Bandar Seri Begawan, the capital of Brunei. According to reports, the Sultan's family was responsible for over half of all Rolls Royce purchases made worldwide in the 1990s. In 2011, he received the Guinness World Record for owning the most Rolls Royce vehicles. Bulkia also owns 500 Rolls Royces along with numerous other vehicles for a total of $4 billion. It is a unique Rolls Royce for the Sultan's Gold Royal Wedding. It has an open top and a platform for an umbrella bear. Bulkia replaced Prince Jeffrey as Finance Minister of Brunei in February 1997, after the latter was dismissed for allegedly embezzling public cash. From the middle of the 1980s through the 1990s, Bulkia held the title of the richest man in the world thanks to Brunei's vast oil reserves. Late in the 1990s, he was dethroned by Microsoft's co-founder Bill Gates. The Sultan wed Azrina's Mazar Hakim, a Malaysian TV host, as his third wife in 2005. She was 33 years younger than he was. In 2010, they got divorced. The Sultan also purchased a Boeing 747 for himself. It was outfitted with $120 million worth of accessories, including solid gold wash basins, and cost at least $400 million. For his daughter's birthday, he reportedly gave her an Airbus A340. This stay in a US hotel was detailed in a Fortune profile of the Sultan from 1999. For Fortune magazine, Richard Bear wrote, records from a North American hotel from 1995 reveal that the Sultan's party utilized more than 100 rooms over the course of four days, resulting in a bill that was over $1 million. The royals typically rent entire hotel floors and reserve their time for checkout before going downstairs. As part of a new penal code based on Sharia law that was first proposed in 2014, Brunei declared in April 2019 they would now punish homosexuality with death by stoning. This made headlines and brought Bulkia to national attention. And that's all there is to the royal's extravagant lifestyle. How did you find all of this information? Please let us know. Also, please share and subscribe.